Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Lamb, facial plastic surgeon, hair transplant surgeon here in Dallas, Texas. I just want to introduce my new product called SL Max. This product is an all natural hair fiber. Uh, I used to use a product last year that had a lot of chemicals in it and it was one of the impetuses behind my wanting to come up with my own product. So the, the goals that I had with this product were as follows. Number one is I wanted a product that was all natural. This product only has a natural colorant and a natural cotton fiber. So that was very important to me in terms of long-term health. Um, so this is one major point that this product has. The second major point is a product um, is also a lot less expensive. For example, Topic for about 28 grams costs about $46 online. This product costs about 30 some dollars, like 32 50 to be exact. And so by cutting out the middleman, I could reduce the cost of the product. The, the last part of this also is that the hair fibers are very fine, and so I found that the lot, a lot of the other fi hair fibers were very coarse and they didn't look very natural on the scalp. Uh, in a moment, you'll also see a video of Amina training to, uh, of how to apply this product. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you why I created this product. It also has a locking spray that can lock very easily into the, the scalp so that if you are working out or if you are sweating or if you, it rains, it's not going to come out. Uh, this is an applicator right here that uh, allows a, a more easy application. Again, Amina is going to show you how to deliver that. I'm Amina Vance, I'm Dr. Lim's hair transplant coordinator, and I'm going to show you how to apply hair fibers. We have a natural hair fibers um, to create denser looking hair and camouflage any thinning. So um, we're going to use a medium brown. There are two different ways you can either shake or use the applicator to apply. So whenever you're applying, you're going to move scalp, and when you're moving scalp, you can just gently, I'm sorry, moving hair and gently applying the fibers. And the, you're slowly building the webbing on your hairs and not necessarily applying the fiber directly onto the scalp. So what it does, it creates a shadow. You can touch it, and when you're using the applicator, you're actually not putting the applicator straight onto the scalp because otherwise it creates this you see how it creates a, a, a lot of density, rather, or a lot of fibers. Rather, you're going to make like a parallel application. And so look at here. So what I'm doing now, I'm moving hairs around. And so look how much more denser this will look after the application. And then once we have completed the application, and then I'm going to do like a half application here so you can see what it looks like with or without so you also also want to leave a little bit of scalp showing through because it looks more natural than creating a very dense coverage and then at the very end you're going to use a sealer and a sealer should never come too close but from a distance you're going to seal a little bit so the fibers do not wash um, with rain or heavy wind. Go ahead and fill the hole at the front scalp. Okay. So you're noticing that my applicator is actually pointing into the hairs versus pointing toward the scalp because that gives a more natural look. You don't want to put too much in a hairline because then it's going to show, but the more you put fibers into the hairs, the more um, it creates a shadow so you cannot see. And the good thing is, see, I'm passing my hand, you can't see anything on my hand, so the fibers don't come off. So this video is going to show how to um, put the fibers in a hairline. The tricky thing is not to put too uh, much fiber in the very front so it doesn't look unnatural. So if I'm using the um, applicator, and once again I showed that we put hair fibers not pointing toward the scalp, then we can use the optimizer and I can do the same thing. I can build like this. And as you notice, it kind of it gives uneven. See, this is the filled in and this is not. Or I can use the 
um, without the optimizer do the same, I'm sorry, yeah, with, uh, without the applicator and do the same thing where I move hairs around and add the fibers. So um, let me finish this as I showed prior. I like to build and move hairs around. You can use this, um, the fibers to color the gray hairs when the hairs are growing in between your hair coloring. And then you can also do, uh, you can use a, a lighter color. Like she has highlights, you can combine two different colors and um, in two different color fibers and, and mimic the highlights. So there you are.